the Czar versus the Ring General, the Mad Dragon versus the World Heavyweight Champion. We are live in the O2 Arena in London, England, in the middle of the United Kingdom, Saturday night, July the 13th, 2024. It is main event time from Money in the Bank. Wait a minute. We're gonna drag it off in the corner. Drag it off. Going for the kill early. H bomb on the ring general. Oh, wait a minute. Drag it off. Oh my goodness. Look at the strength. Power bomb to Gunther. Kaiser's taking Charles Robinson's eye off the ball, but drag it off keeping his foot on the gas pedal. Into the corner. Torpedo Moscow! Charles, turn your ass around! Drag it off into the cover! To win the world's title! No! Try to go to SummerSlam to right the wrongs of last year. So Cole blocked in. Ilya Dragunov is in trouble. Couple of elbows to the rip cage. Wait a minute, that's a pitfall! Drag it off! To steal it! Not just yet! Oh no. Wait a minute here. I think I know what Goober might be going for! Nobody has ever kicked out! Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre's here at ringside. We have not seen McIntyre since the gauntlet match. McIntyre, what the hell are you doing? Claymore kick to Ilya Dragunov. Oh my God. Oh, come on, Drew. You don't gotta do this, Drew. Why put in Dragunov through the announce table? McIntyre sits in silence. Returns tonight and dishes out the most unnecessary beatdown on God's green earth. Last Saturday night, we saw the true colors of Drew McIntyre and somebody who has not taken too kindly to those actions, a close friend of the Ilya Dragunov, the new cruiserweight champion of the world, Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate has certainly got his work cut out for him tonight. He threw out the challenge Drew McIntyre has accepted. And right here tonight, in your main event, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, stands toe to toe with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. I hope Bate has got a plan because McIntyre is more pissed off than ever. We are live tonight from the SNHU Arena in Manchester, New Hampshire, hot off the heels of a successful weekend in London, England. The road to SummerSlam has begun and approaching the squared circle, the new United States Champion, Carmelo Hayes, and a man who certainly turned some heads just last weekend in the O2. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Carmelo Hayes from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Chris Williams! Carmelo Hayes walking down the aisle for the first time in two weeks. The last time we saw Mello was back in the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia at the Great American Bash edition of SmackDown. Mello showing on that night that he had gotten that much better from the last outing with the one and only Ricochet. And although Ricochet brought his best, 
Carmelo Hayes proving to be HIM, to be him, and leaving Philadelphia as the brand new United States champion. Melo has been in pursuit of championship gold for quite some time, and now the red, white, blue, and gold is around the waist of Melo. But it is Trick Williams who approaches action tonight. Hot off the heels of an unsuccessful outing in the Money in the Bank ladder match, Trick Williams looks to bounce back. Well, Chad Gable, the one throwing down the gauntlet for this contest tonight. We take you back to three weeks ago as Gable went one-on-one -on -one with Trick Williams in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. And credit where credit's due, Trick Williams proving on that night that he has what it takes to stand on his own two feet, taking down Master Chad Gable of Alpha Academy, qualifying for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Trick Williams coming up short this past Saturday, but certainly an impressive outing from bell to bell. But Alpha Academy's master Chad Gable not going to take that one lying down. Sure, the Money in the Bank matchup has come and by, but now Gable just looks to bounce back tonight. A victory over Trick Williams, and maybe a victory that could get him one step closer to a title that he previously contested for the United States Championship currently housed by Carmelo Hayes. Nonetheless, we are underway. Welcome to Friday Night SmackDown. We are here back in the States, Manchester, New Hampshire. Kicking things off with Gable and Trick Williams in this return matchup. And I gotta say, man, Tyler Bate has got some guts in him. Calling out Drew McIntyre after the fire that we saw out of McIntyre this past Saturday night. A war of all wars between Ilya Dragunov and Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. An unsuccessful outing for Dragunov. Nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. But the story really is what happened after the bell. Drew McIntyre returning for the first time since that gauntlet matchup last month and beating the hell out of the Mad Dragon at ringside. Drew McIntyre, one of the most hated men in London, England on that night. McIntyre is back in the States with hellfire and brimstone as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the cruiserweight champion Tyler Bate later tonight on SmackDown. Nonetheless, Trick Williams trying to survive an early onslaught from Master Gable. Trick Williams knows he can get the job done against Gable, but can he go two for two? Carmelo Hayes, Alpha Academy, a lot of the surrounding members at ringside tonight, are not afraid to stick their hands into the matchup a few weeks ago. Nonetheless, Trick Williams is the one with his hand raised high. Chad Gable is obviously not taking that loss too kindly. That was, of course, one week, one week removed from Ricochet's final successful championship defense before Carmelo Hayes bested him back at the Great American Bash. Gable was within instances last month of becoming the United States champion twas not to be. Chad Gable really looking to turn things around here on Friday Night Smackdown. And speaking of tonight, still to come, Angel and Humberto after their actions at the Great American Bash set to go 2v2 against Nathan Frazier and Axiom. Angel and Humberto with that ambush in the WWE Tag Team Champion Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio a few weeks ago. More on that later as they will be inside the squared circle taking on Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Right now, Trick Williams is just taking his time, not being overzealous against Chad Gable. And this is some maturity, dare I say, being shown out of the young competitor. Trick Williams has always been known seemingly as a running buddy, a backup man for Carmelo Hayes, but Williams looking to prove that he is not just a man who stands in Carmelo Hayes' shadow, but somebody who can stand right next to the champion here on SmackDown. And speaking of the champion, look at Melo taking Gable's eye off the ball. Trick Williams now coming from behind, trying to steal another victory over Gable. Chad Gable has had to expect that. They don't call him master for nothing. I am sure Gable has textbook gone over each and every outcome that this matchup could possibly proceed and each and every bump in the road that he could have to face. Melo, of course, being one of them. Trick Williams going for a ride. Double Germans make it three. Chad Gable going for the... Oh, wait a minute. Charles Robinson back his turn. Gable's going for the cover. I believe Carmelo Hayes, your United States champion, may have exposed the far left turnbuckle. Well, Charles Robinson's just doing his job, but unfortunately it might have just cost Chad Gable this matchup. 
Well, that is some of the underhanded tactics that the Trick Mello gang are never afraid to implore. Can't take away their talents and certainly can't take away the results that they have produced as of late. Carmelo Hayes, your brand new United States champion. Trick Williams, one of the men who was within inches of climbing the ladder and taking down the Money in the Bank briefcase last Saturday night. Was not to be for Trick Williams, but a victory over Chad Gable could be within inches tonight. Gable looking worse for wear as Williams picking up the engines. Gable's trying to stand on his own two feet, but Williams might have knocked him. In enemy territory, and Trick is just adding insult to injury at the current moment. Gable down, Gable may be out. Trick Williams looking to prove his worth on Friday Night SmackDown. Beating Chad Gable one time was literally one thing, but do it in a second, Trick Williams may start turning some heads. Now wait a minute, K counter by Gable that time. Chad Gable wiping out Trick Williams within an instance. And just like that, Trick Williams takes his eye off the ball and it comes back to bite him. Here is your winner, Chad Gable. A huge bounce back big victory for the Alpha Academy's master Chad Gable as we kick things off on SmackDown. Well, as we talked about this past Saturday night, we are making a pit stop in Chad Gable's hometown of Minneapolis, Minnesota on Saturday night, August the 3rd for Saturday night's main event. That is coming up on the road to SummerSlam and as announced, coming up is also on Saturday night's main event, we are gonna crown brand new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. These championships sat on the shelf last fall. It is now time to crown brand new champions for the women's division. Women's tag team champions to be crowned Saturday night, August the 3rd at Saturday night's main event. We are back inside the SNHU arena and we are keeping the ball rolling here on SmackDown with the women's world champion, Raquel Rodriguez. Hot off the heels of defending her gold last week in London against Asuka, Raquel Rodriguez is back in action. One of the faces of Friday Night SmackDown takes center stage next. SmackDown, the cold and dangerous Blair Davenport has entered the ring, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the women's world champion Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it was just last week in London, England, Raquel defending her championship gold against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, and it was not an easy battle. Those two women taking center stage in the main event last week in the OVO Arena Wembley. London, England was on fire for the championship defense that of course went the way of Raquel Rodriguez. Now Raquel back into the line of fire tonight. Raquel Rodriguez has certainly been a fighting champion, successfully defending her gold last month against Io Sky, last week against Asuka. Now in this non-title contest against Blair Davenport tonight, a huge opportunity arises for Blair. Somebody who was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown back in April after spending a couple months of her main roster career on Monday Night Raw. Blair Davenport's got a chance to really turn some heads and topple the women's world champion tonight. Somebody who has proven to be a credible champion and a viable threat to the rest of the women's division here on SmackDown. Blair Davenport just looking for her breakout performance and it could come right here tonight in New Hampshire. 
where Davenport has been described, as we mentioned, as cold and dangerous and sometimes downright sadistic inside of that ring. She's got multiple ways to be as she knows how to pick her opponents apart in the ring. Raquel is finding that out firsthand for the first time right now. Where Davenport came up to Monday Night Raw last fall, mixed it up with some of the best the Red Brand had to offer when the draft came around in April. Her talents making their way to Friday Night SmackDown and now Blair seeing some action once more. And Talk about an opportunity that arises. If Blair Davenport can find a way to keep down Raquel Rodriguez tonight, well, you got to believe there'd be no denying that Blair would earn herself a future Women's World Championship opportunity. With the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam approaching on Saturday night, August 17th, you got to believe the championship is going to be on the line that weekend. Leaving the women's division and certainly the number one contendership wide open at the current moment and look at the last few moments Blair Davenport not doing anything fancy just keeping it effective just keeping Raquel Rodriguez down on the canvas this is just a class A beatdown right now on the champion you gotta wonder if Raquel Rodriguez is feeling 100% tonight after that physical battle with the Empress of Tomorrow Asuka last week it's one thing to be hurt it's a whole other thing to be injured Raquel Rodriguez may be hurt, but she is not hurt enough to not fight. And the women's world champion and ever fighting champion. And it's going to take the contest that arises. Oh, look at this. Look at Blair. Knowing that Raquel had her arms really worked on by Asuka last week. Trying to lock in a Kimura lock, it almost looks like here. Some kind of armbar submission hold. Well, that is some homework being done by Blair Davenport. Knowing Asuka was going for the tap out multiple times last week trying to pick apart the power of Raquel Rodriguez. Blair did her homework, and now I believe she hit a double stomp that time. A little out of our vantage view. Nonetheless, Raquel Rodriguez, dare I say, with the Women's World Champion, at least for a moment, fighting an uphill battle. But that battle might have just come the way screeching hole. And Blair with the wherewithal to kick out. But man, do we got a fight on our hands here tonight on SmackDown. Still to come, the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre returns to action for the first time since coming up short in the gauntlet matchup last month. And of course, for the first time since his heinous assault of Ilya Dragunov this past Saturday. We also want to encourage you to hit the join button down below and become a No Nation Gaming channel member. Channel members, channel members, excuse me, will receive access to behind the scenes content and will be the ones punching their golden ticket to a WWE live event Saturday night, August the 10th on the road to SummerSlam. All stars of Raw and SmackDown already confirmed to be in attendance, including the new WWE champion, CM Punk. Channel member exclusive only. Hit the join button down below and punch your ticket. Raquel Rodriguez trying to find a way to keep down her opposer tonight. The title may not be on the line, but that does not mean Raquel is going to give this match any less than. Oh, man. Could be Tahana Bomb time. Blair Davenport, who has been the aggressor for a lot of this matchup. I don't think Raquel has done enough damage to keep Blair Davenport up momentarily. <laughs> Blair has still got enough wherewithal to get out of that dangerous, disastrous position that Raquel had her in and take her down off the big time exploder I will tell you what Blair Davenport may be on her way to becoming the next number one contender for the women's world championship oh could have could have been right there could have looked like she was going for a knee maybe a knockout blow and counter by Raquel little side slam little back breaker Want to talk about nothing pretty, but certainly effective. The Women's World Champion personifying that, just trying to cut her opponent in half in a sidewalk slam. Just like that, Raquel Rodriguez turns the tables on a game opponent here tonight. And you see Raquel starting to feel confident, starting to see the body of her work right in front of her. Blair Davenport rolling to the outside, trying to catch her breath. The Women's World Champion not going to allow any R&R &R in this matchup. Mikel Rodriguez, if she didn't realize it walking down the aisle tonight, is realizing in the midst of combat that she is in for a fight. And Blair may be in trouble. 
Going for a ride off of Tahana Bomb. And that's gonna, oh no. Blair Davenport getting the shoulder up, I believe at 2.9. Wait a minute, inside cradle this time. Oh man. Well, this capacity audience here in Manchester, New Hampshire, certainly appreciating the actions of these two individuals tonight. Blair Davenport somehow able to get the shoulder off the canvas of a monstrous Tahana bomb. Now back and forth. These two women jock for position here. The women's world champion not looking to come up short in this non-title bout. Blair Davenport looking for the biggest opportunity of her young career. Misses with another knee. Could be costly. And now Raquel turning the tables. An inside cradle of her own. And she got her. The Tahana Bomb may not have gotten the three count, but it leads to an eventual victory. Now you see the prodigy Roxanne Perez. Well, the friendship between these two women well documented. It looks like Perez coming out here to show her congratulations on a hard fought victory. Wait a minute. Or not. Roxanne Perez with an attack from behind on the women's world champion. Congratulations not to be. Friendship no more. The prodigy staking her claim for a future championship matchup. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a backstage pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. We want to take you back to last week in London, England. The almighty Bobby Lashley called out Randy Orton for a matchup. However, it looked like Randy Orton got Austin Theory to take the matchup somehow, some way. But Orton still managed to make his way out to ringside and loom his ominous presence over this contest between the almighty and one half of A Town Down Under. Well, the issues between Lashley and Orton have gone on for months, trading victories back and forth and seemingly out to destroy each other ever since. Randy Orton's been on his own mission throughout 2024 to remind the world just how dangerous he once was and how dangerous he could still be. Take a look at the middle of the contest between Lashley and Theory last week. Lashley looked to be picking up momentum. Randy Orton not going to allow it, causing a disqualification. Lashley victorious, but a celebration twas not to be. Randy Orton was not going to let Lashley fly back to the States on his own accord. Lashley's body, after being beaten down at ringside, drug under the concrete, and Randy Orton delivering an absolutely heinous assault to the Almighty. An RKO heard around the world that can now have Bobby Lashley waiting on the shelf for a hopeful return. Well, Randy Orton has had the blood on his hands time and time again. What about what happened at the Great American Bash three weeks ago? Attacking the SummerSlam host, The Rock from behind. Randy Orton simply stated he took out The Rock because he can, because it's SmackDown, Orton show. And just as we mentioned, Orton is out to remind the world just how dangerous the Viper can be. The Viper strikes when he wants to. Whatever rhyme or reason, whatever spin Randy Orton wants to put, there's gonna be a day that comes where there is reckoning for his actions. Taking out Bobby Lashley with an RKO in the concrete last week. Two RKOs to the SummerSlam host The Rock two weeks ago. Something's gotta give. Orton's day is gonna come. We just don't know when it's gonna be. Nonetheless, it is tag team action time here on SmackDown. Combined weight of 
Well, speaking of the Great American Bash, we take a look back to Philadelphia where Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar successfully defended their WWE Tag Team Championship against Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits. But another celebration spoiled as Angel Garza and Humberto hit the ring and ambushed the LWO from behind. Angel and Humberto have been in that SmackDown locker room for some time waiting for an opportunity and it looks like they are about done waiting. They took matters into their own hands, put a target on their own back, all the while putting a target on the tag team champions as well. But now it's put up or shut up time for Angel and Humberto. You want an opportunity? You want to get those tag team titles? Now's the time to prove your worth. Axiom and Nathan Frazier coming together over the last few months on SmackDown, a team that was once challenging for the tag team titles, was within inches of winning the gold a few months ago. I am sure Axiom and Nathan Frazier would love the same opportunity. Whoever wins this matchup, I am sure, is going to move one step closer to catching the attention of the Latino World Order. Look at Axiom hot out of the gate. Well, Humberto and Angel back on SmackDown tonight. Somewhere they have competed in recent times is over on TikTok on Velocity. Velocity each and every Wednesday on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Do yourself a favor, scan the QR code on your screen right now. Be sure to go follow over on TikTok and never miss an action. Velocity each and every Wednesday. As Angel and Humberto back here under the lights of Friday Night SmackDown tonight looking for a much needed Victory at the expense of Axiom and Frazier. Axiom and Nathan Frazier a couple of weeks ago were involved in a very chaotic four corners matchup. That was of course won by the Street Profits, which gained them that tag team title opportunity back at the Great American Bash. Now Frazier and Axiom back in the line of fire tonight against Humberto and Angel. We're gonna get the job done, nice swing blade. Who is faster than Frazier? Couple of shooting stars like it's nothing by these two men in the early moments. I'll tell you what, Axiom and Nathan Fraser, an exciting young team here on SmackDown, and we are seeing before our very eyes why Nathan Fraser has been referred to as a spark plug at times, sending Berto to the outside. Certainly not by will, but by force. Fraser's wheels are a spinning. Tope Suicida shot out like a cannon. Angel and Humberto, what an opportunity. Well, this is the kind of competition they're gonna have to deal with here on SmackDown. Nathan Frazier sending a daze Burdo back inside the ring. Little springboard and a missile drop kick, sniper-like. And a cover, which could bring them victory, not just yet. Nathan Frazier and Axiom, two members of the cruiserweight division at times here on SmackDown looking for tag team success. Angel and Berto can say the same. Much to the chagrin of this audience here in Manchester, New Hampshire, Angel Garza may be about to put this matchup away via a sleeper submission hold, absolutely ragdolling Frazier to the canvas. I'm sure there's a part of Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio and it's almost wanting Angel and Humberto to get their confidence boosted tonight via victory so that they can put the fire out on their own accord. Nonetheless, just like we said for Randy Orton, a day comes for all that wrecking it. Angel and Humberto wanted an opportunity. They ambushed the champions two weeks ago. Let's see if they are now worthy of an opportunity against Axiom and Frazier, who are looking to rev up the engines right now. Axiom going behind where he's can be extremely dangerous, Poison Rana. We got a board burner on our hands. These two teams will in the scratching claw for success on SmackDown. Now it's Angel, off the side step and a drop kick of his own. This Manchester, New Hampshire audience not taking too kindly to the attitudes of Angel and Humberto. In an action on velocity, action that has not gone their way, especially Angel Garza. Now in tag team action, looking to turn things around. They made their bet a few weeks ago. Will they sleep in it or will they be making another tonight by possibly, possibly punching a ticket to meet the tag team champions at a later date? Almost a muscle buster variation. And Nathan Frazier gonna ensure 
This matchup has not crossed from the finish line just yet. But Umberto going to keep his foot on the gas pedal, and you can't take away from the talents of those two. Incredible talents. Angel, former cruiserweight champion. These two young men have been together on a tag team for quite some time. Will 2024 be the year they finally find success in the division? Angel guards over the top. This thing's gonna break down to a brawl. I just may favor Angel and Humberto. You saw what they could do. Loaded up their fist a couple of weeks ago with that sneak attack. I don't know if Fraser and Axiom want to see that side. Angel Garza better keep his eye on Nathan Fraser. Axiom making his way back inside the ring. Count out is not to be, but Fraser in trouble here. Axiom trying to put a stop to it. Might have just been a little late. A little divide and conquer action by the men in the green and silver. And now Axiom in the green and gold. Drop it, Angel Garza. If he's got to go it alone, that must he do. Has he got enough to put this thing away, though? Angel brought into the corner. Axiom revving up the engines once more. My goodness. That is the kind of boot that you feel over Saturday morning breakfast. Humberto tagged in. Axiom better watch where he's stepping. Angel's going to be eaten out of a straw for the next week after that boot, but... May be worth it if they can secure the victory tonight. Much needed tag to Nathan Fraser. Fraser trying to unload. Twas not to be. Humberto's just trying to break down Fraser. Divide and conquer didn't work a few moments ago. Nathan Fraser, the legal competitor. Axiom still trying to get his wits about him in the ring. Whatever these two young men got in mind, they have got Fraser and Axiom literally against the ropes currently. Some great tag team action nonetheless here on SmackDown. Tag made back to Birdo. These two men working like a well-oiled machine. Double backstabber on Nathan Frazier. And Axiom going for the cover. Or I should say Axiom going for the breakup. Gonna work out in his favor. Now looks like Angel and Birdo not looking to let up. Another tag made to Frazier. They could just be looking to add some salt in the wounds. Make it a dose. That's a combined four knees to the spine. Axiom cannot risk getting disqualified, breaking things up again. Nathan Fraser ain't got enough left in the tank. Here are your winners, the team of Humberto and Angel Garza. Angel and Humberto laid waste to the tag team champions a few weeks ago. They come out tonight and secure a victory. Are they next in line for a tag team title opportunity? And of course, coming out of London, we can confirm the main event for SummerSlam on August 17th. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line as the ring general Gunther will meet the man that handed him his one and only loss of his SmackDown career last year at SummerSlam, the King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes. 
And of course, we take you back to last week in the closing moments of SmackDown, a brawl breaking out in the arena between these two gentlemen. Ludwig Kaiser had already ambushed Ilya Dragunov earlier that night, and it looked as if Gunther was trying to eliminate the Cody Rhodes factor, ensuring Dragunov had nobody to rely on come Saturday at Money in the Bank. Well, there is obviously no love lost between these two superstars, if you know your history dating back to last summer here on SmackDown. Unfortunately for Cody Rhodes, it was a disappointing trip to London, England. Not able to be in the corner of Dragunov thanks to these actions by Gunther. Well, the road to SummerSlam continues and going up next week, right here on Friday Night SmackDown, Alpha Academy set to go 2v2 against Trick Williams and the United States Champion Carmelo Hayes. An unfortunate loss for Trick at the top of the hour. Can the Trick Melo gang bounce back as Alpha Academy looks to climb the ranks here on SmackDown? Well, there has been some great wrestling tonight here in New Hampshire, but I have a feeling this main event is going to be nothing short of a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Tyler Bates. You got to commend the brand new Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Tyler Bate taking down the Irish Devil. J.D. McDonough last Saturday night at Money in the Bank. But Tyler Bate, close friend of Ilya Dragunov, unimpressed with what he saw, downright disgusted in the closing moments of Money in the Bank. A heinous assault by Drew McIntyre on Ilya Dragunov. Dragunov obviously not in the building tonight after the war he went through with Guther and the actions of McIntyre following. Tyler Bate looking to do one good by his friend Ilya Dragunov, challenging Drew McIntyre to a fight. The heart is there, the intentions are pure, but I don't know if this is a good idea for that man who is hot off the heels of a huge win at Money in the Bank. Drew McIntyre has been slipping slowly into madness, and the man we saw last Saturday night is a completely different Drew than the one that once waved the flag of Friday Night Smackdown very proudly. And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre! Frustration has been building for months as Drew McIntyre has failed to get back the World Heavyweight title he lost to Gunther last November. What we saw at Hold on now. The McIntyre. Getting the ring. Instead of mouthing off to Tyler Bay. Wait a minute. Bate taking the fight to Drew. But I don't know if that was the good idea. Well, Tyler Bate obviously feeling eager to fight the Scottish Warrior here tonight on SmackDown. He was the one who threw down the gauntlet. McIntyre accepted. And if the fight's going to start on the outside of the ring, then so be it. We are underway in your SmackDown main event. You know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure it out that there is a size and strength disadvantage for Tyler Bay here tonight. But don't discount the heart of the big strong boy. Able to become the Cruiserweight Champion this past Saturday, taking Drew McIntyre heavily over the top rope. And now Bay going for a dive and nobody home. Drew McIntyre sidestepping the efforts of the new Cruiserweight Champion. McIntyre, as we were mentioning, has been frustrated for months ever since he lost his World Heavyweight Championship to Gunther last November at Survivor Series. And especially, especially, excuse me, that frustration doubling when he failed to win it back in the main event of WrestleMania. Add that and those losses to a loss to Roman Reigns at Backlash. And then, of course, most notably, a loss to Ilya Dragunov in the King of the Ring tournament. And then Dragunov defeating Drew McIntyre in the closing moments of the gauntlet to become number one contender last month. McIntyre, we said, was on the verge of blowing a gasket. And although I think it is absolutely heinous what he did at Money in the Bank, I can't say I'm surprised. This is the man that Drew McIntyre has become. Absolutely obsessed with winning back the World Heavyweight Championship that he is willing to mow over and destroy anybody in his way. 
And I got a feeling Ilya Dragunov was just a stepping stone in the mind of the Scottish warrior. Look what you did to me, knocking me out of the King of the Ring tournament. An opportunity to challenge for the world title at SummerSlam. And then once again, taking McIntyre out of that gauntlet. An opportunity to challenge for the gold at Money in the Bank. Drew McIntyre using Dragunov to send a message to the rest of the Friday Night Smackdown locker room. But Tyler Bate not going to stand for it. A great friendship and respect for the man Dragon. And no matter the size differential, Tyler Bate going to give this match his all tonight. Able to outlast the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough last weekend, becoming the new Cruiserweight Champion. Tyler Bate has made a career out of being an underdog. They don't call him the big strong boy for nothing. Some great heart, some great fight, some great strength. And there it is on display, Tyler Bate muscling Drew McIntyre over. And that is where you gotta give Tyler Bate credit. Not very, me very many men, excuse me, his size are gonna be able to do that to somebody the size of Drew McIntyre, but Tyler Bay comes prepared. Now all Tyler Bay's gotta do is figure out a way to keep down McIntyre for a victory. Easier said than done, Bay coming for a headbutt. Delivery not to be found. Nobody home, crash and burn in the corner. Well, Drew McIntyre is not going to leave any stone unturned. Out to incapacitate Tyler Bate. Oh, wait a minute. Inside Cradle could be a major upset here for the Cruiserweight Champion, not just yet. You know, I'll tell you, Drew McIntyre pissed off a lot of superstars in the SmackDown locker room this past Saturday night. Glasgow kissed to Tyler Bate. McIntyre making a lot of new enemies. And he better be ready to put his money where his mouth is. McIntyre has been unable to produce results over the last few months. Held for the, a lot of 2024. McIntyre has been coming up short. McIntyre better be prepared for superstars like Tyler Bate. Ready to stick up for Ilya Dragunov. Oh no, Bate thrown to the outside here. McIntyre with a Claymore kick on the outside. Well, that's just unnecessary. Get it done between the ropes. Oh no, wait a minute. McIntyre's going underneath the ring. Is tonight a night about victory? Or is McIntyre just looking to send another message? Steel chair in hand, right to the back of the Cruiserweight Champion. Well, Tyler Bates obviously gonna win this matchup via disqualification. I don't know if Drew McIntyre Gives a damn! Tyler Bate with all the guts in the world to stick up to Drew McIntyre for what he did to drag it off last Saturday. McIntyre gonna make Tyler Bate pay for ever stepping into the line of fire. Oh, come on, you already hit a Claymore. You already used a steel chair. Absolutely unnecessary. Another Claymore kick. Somebody get out here and get Drew McIntyre the hell away from the Cruiserweight Champion before Tyler Bate is on the shelf right next to Dragunov. Three Claymore kicks and a lifeless body sent out of the SmackDown ring. The hell is wrong with this guy? We knew frustration was boiling. We knew McIntyre was bound to blow a gasket, but we didn't think it was gonna go out like this. Cody Rhodes is here. Cody Rhodes not gonna stand for what he saw last Saturday night. Unable to be in the O2 to help Ilya Dragunov, but he is here in Manchester, New Hampshire to try to get a pound of flesh on behalf of the czar. Cody Rhodes put through the announce table by the ring general Gunther seven nights ago on SmackDown. But Cody Rhodes is here tonight. Gunther, for what we understand, not in the building. But Cody is, and so is McIntyre. And Cody looking for an ounce of flesh. Steel chair. Oh, no. McIntyre with adrenaline rolling. Sending Cody right to the corner of the table. Cody Rhodes' heart in the right place. 
But McIntyre may be too fired up at the current moment. McIntyre using that steel chair on the American Nightmare. But Cody's still got life left in him. We have got a brawl on our hands. Cody out to get some on behalf of Ilya Dragunov. McIntyre out to make a statement. Cody's got to be careful. He's got Guther at SummerSlam. But right now, the only thing on the mind of the American Nightmare is how the hell did I get myself in this situation? Oh, no. One Claymore kick. Not enough. McIntyre comes back for two. Drew McIntyre has come unhinged. Cody Rhodes, Tyler Bate, Ilya Dragunov. Who is next on the Scottish Warriors list of growing victims? If you'll see.